respect. Learn respect. Hey, they want to call it disrespect, but I call it being expressive. We are very, very expressive. And that's on period. Like like this word. uh Aha. What you are doing now? You can't do. You can't do in front of my mother. See? Jay-Z seem to be causing a lot of problems online. Like they are starting a whole generational war online. Today, we'll get to the bottom of this. Gen Z's are this, are that, all types of stereotypes and all of that. And then see if we can solve the war between millennials and Gen Z's. Mind you, there are other generations in this world though, but these two always at each other. I'll start with a tweet that's sparking all of this. So this one says, it shocked my co-workers when I left at exactly 5 p.m. and arrived exactly at 8 a.m. every day. If I'm going to be paid next to nothing with an economy that gives me next to nothing, I'm going to do the absolute bare minimum. I also find the idea that people are expected to kill themselves for one rich guy up top to be a completely fucked up mindset. Only a Gen Z can say this. Yeah. For me, I don't know what they think. I don't know what makes them tick. So we have a typical Gen Z here. <laughs> Ariel. So I actually think that mm -hmm. I don't. Hmm. Gen Zs actually believe in competitive benefits. And I actually think that they actually challenge most of our employers to do better. Because we mm. can agree that the corporate system that most of our parents or generations before went through was not it at all. And the most of um, our parents or the generations before can attest to the fact that it was probably just, I work all day, all night, I work on weekends, I come home, no social life, no work-life balance. And Gen mm. are not up for that. Gen mm. believe in work-life um, balance. They believe in actually doing the work and seeing progress. Mm. They don't think that, oh, you should be probably working. I think that they also believe in progress. Like, mm. oh, I should be moving from one level to another. I but see. then again, I believe that Gen Z should be guided because mm. sometimes they can take it to the extreme. Okay, and, we'll come yeah. to that one. First, <laughs> let's, let's deal with the initial things you said. All so right. to a large extent, that should be the ideal case. Unfortunately, where you find yourself, which is Ghana, you see, that's where the problem is. That's where the, the conflict is. It, it's, it's, it's not like uh, that straightforward. You get that's what why we don't understand. Like this this thing, uh, your your I don't know if you are going to own that Gen Z or you are going to uh, kick her out of your generation. But that I'm thing she said, for example, <laughs> about eight to five and all of that. We all know that in Ghana, if you are going to stick to your eight to five, it, it will be difficult to keep your job, right? Hmm. Because one, the system is socialized in a way where extra work is seen as you doing your work. Exactly. You can't be doing your exactly. barest minimum. One thing a typical millennial will, will do is that let me put in the extra work and then that becomes the basis for which I earn more. But we realize that the Gen Zs, they want the salary increment before they do the work that is com commensurate with the salary increment. They don't want to do their work before the increment. Uh, typical I don't typical think it's... I think says. it's about productivity. And you actually mentioned that a mm -hmm. system is structured in a way where they're probably everybody is meant to work in a way where probably longer hours shows that is yeah, believed, yes. yeah, shows that. But it's not like that because I've spoken to people where they actually tell me that, oh, they are going to sit in the office and watch YouTube videos from morning to evening because they know that the only time that they, actually, they get to do actual work is mm. the last week of the month. Mm. So I don't think productivity is necessarily equal to longer hours, yes. So um, I think, hmm. I don't know if, I'm not going to argue about that right yeah. now, about how our system okay. should be structured. So, but so, then so, it, fine. so the Gen Zs are telling us that Look at the look at the output, Outcome. not the hours you put exactly. in. Exactly. So if you are a watchman to that, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you put AI there. Every you job build, is you different. Build, you build a firewall for them and go and sleep. Every, <laughs> every job is different. Sure. So so now let, let's let's challenge a few of the stereotypes. So number one on it is 
the stereotype list is that Gen Zs are lazy. Hmm. I mean, it's not a stereotype that Gen Zs are lazy. And my definition of their laziness is they find physically monotonous work, like work that you just need to apply physically, apply yourself to get through the routine as a problem. Typical example is, and I know most of you know this and I agree, Gen Zs will always ask for working from home. Like half of the Gen Zs I've interviewed for jobs, they'll ask, okay, they, they've even assumed, so please how many days working from home do we get? And you get the sense that a Gen Z taking public transport, trotro, Monday to Friday, right, to and from work, it's a problem for them. They want a number of days where they can be lying in bed, doing their work, watch, uh, uh, what's the name, all they want to watch in the house. You know, just stress-free life. That's what they like. And for me as a millennial, it shouldn't be a big deal. So Ariel, representing your generation, what say you on this? Okay, so for Gen Z's, this is our era. Mm. And this is an era where I believe that technology is trending. And mm -hmm. technology makes everything so much simpler. That's why it might look like, oh, Gen Z's are lazy. And even about <laughs> the laziness, the laziness things, you can attest to the fact that your parents, for for this, I'm actually like addressing the millennials. Your parents mm. also told you that, hey, you guys are lazy. Like, every generation is going to be called no, lazy. No, but the Gen Z one, yeah. Because it gets worse <laughs> as it <laughs> goes. It gets is... worse as it goes. Uh -huh. Yeah. But then, work from home, this concept of work from home also comes from the mm. fact that technology is actually trending mm. now. I don't understand why I should move from my house when all I'm doing requires mm. the internet. Mm. Maybe I'm a content marketer or I'm a social media manager. Mm. And it requires probably just UI, UX designer. You know that oh, you probably need your workspace, your mm. laptop, need to be in your comfort. I don't know why I should move. And now everybody's complaining about the economy, the economy, the economy. Mm. And they are going to think, think about transportation costs too. I mean, you can just sit in your house and be productive. Once you are hitting your deadlines and but hitting that's your the targets. Big ones. This and is the case you chase Gen Z. <laughs> hey, you chase a Gen Z who is supposed to be come working and from themselves. home. And my she's nowhere to be found. No. You know, but, but, but look, <laughs> working from the office, fine. I'm like a traditional millennial. And it's, it helps somewhat for productivity and all of that to have your team, you know, under the same roof that you can do pop-up meetings and all of that. The inconvenience of jumping on a quick meeting and then the internet is... I'm not responsible for the type of internet you have in your house. Me That's sense. another thing. So then, hey, can you hear me? Ariel, we can't hear you. You are disappearing. Ariel, uh, put off your, your, your cam. Ariel, uh, no, please. We, you know, so it makes it much easier and much simpler. For us, until Corona came, working from home was not whatever. And some of the trends, some of the articles you, you read says that the world is gradually going back to the uh, whatever. But yes, a hybrid system, you can talk Ooh, about it because of the economic thing. But you are not entitled to it. That's the second thing. <laughs> second point. Gen Z's are the most entitled. And mm. on this one, <laughs> let me read uh, this tweet. I'm already laughing, Seth. Let me come to the tweet for me, that I have marked under entitled. So this one says, my Gen Z employee told me last week that the following day was her birthday, so she wouldn't be coming to work. Like I told her, she shouldn't bother coming after the birthday celebration. If this is not entitlement, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Soft life. Like, Charlie, Gen Z's, all sorts of entitlement. Another one too says, you want me to work for you and you don't have what? Aromatic spa day said. All kinds of nonsense. Please. I don't Seriously. Want, I, don't blame them. I don't know. You don't you won't blame them too. <laughs> I do not know what Gen Z think they are entitled to in this world. But in Ghana, you cannot be entitled to those things. Gen Z is even Ekufuado like tells us the uh, whole population. We not don't to live be, in Ekufuado's world. Uh, clearly. <laughs> clearly, Gen Z don't. So 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 yes. And that's it. I think most people can attest to this, that you get, people have like a, some sense of entitlement, what you deserve and what you don't deserve without even working for it. 
What is your defense? Okay. So for this, I think that um, Gen Zs are naturally influenced by the internet. Mm -hmm. So everything is now anesthetic. Or everything is now. So if we see this thing, oh, work from home is now this thing, then everybody is like, oh, then I can actually try this. And the funny thing is, people mm -hmm. actually go and try it and it works. So it becomes a sort of a trend. Oh, it has worked for this person, it has worked for that person, yeah. it has worked for that person, that kind of thing. Yeah. And then we actually want to adapt to that lifestyle. Another thing too is that for Gen Zs, we actually live in a world where we had to learn. Most of our parents probably lived according to the school system. Mm. They had to go to school. They were taught everything. They were probably very, very timid and then all of that. But then for Gen Zs, we are actually very, very expressive. Mm. We actually learned the skills by ourselves. Yeah. Yes. And that also contributes to that. I, I agree. I think that's how you were brought up. You see, that's why the traits of each generation comes in. So the bo baby boomers, for example, right after the world wars, the final world war, um, you know, had to get to uh, used to the normal way of life and all of that. Try to take things back to the way they, they were in a progressive. So in a progressive nature and progressive society. So they are used to starting things out of nothing, you know, being innovative, trying to stabilize things, the long haul of things, you know, and all of that. And then you have generation, is it X that comes after that? For them, I, I don't really like them that much because I feel that they destroyed everything that baby boomers did, right? Even in our context, if it's in governance, Nkuma started this country on a good note. The, the, the Generation X people went to university for free. One in a room accommodation, they were being fed. What type of university did you go to? <laughs> Petters upon Petters. Yeah, you are paying school fees all through. Like, it's crazy. And that's what the Generation X people gave us. Then the um, millennials. We are the millennials. I think we are the best generation. Oh. That if we were not here, like this, the, the earth will just fall. Mm. You know, we are, we, are, we, are, we are privileged enough to have the influence of the baby boomers, the ex, and then you guys, your era. So we are technologically savvy. We have the dogged determination, hard work, you know, seeing things through, all of that. So you put the two together. And I think that lots of the startups today are run by, strong startups are run by millennials. And we employ you people. But you don't, you don't respect us. No problem. But back to you guys. I think, so as the generations get better, you tend to pamper the youngest. True. <laughs> Things are easier and all of that. So I think that's where the uh, entitlement comes in. But maybe you just have to paint yourself and see that kind of... Charlie, if, if, if you're entitled in this economy... But guys, Sometimes you need good. mental well-being. Sometimes That's why you put have made... <laughs> it's good. It puts everyone on their toes. Because yeah. Africans like to use... Uh, just use and abuse everybody mm. in the system. So mm. sometimes it's actually very, very good. Mm, okay. W what I'm saying about entitlement, you just need to know the type of environment you are living in and realize that, Charlie, you can't be entitled in such a harsh condition. Uh, uh, the harsh conditions we find ourselves in. But this is a tweet that also epitomizes what we are saying. So this one says, oh my God, like, how can they expect me? How can they expect you to come in before 11 a.m. and stay beyond 3 p.m.? <laughs> so she doesn't understand why her work starts before 11 and, clo and closes after 3 p.m. I have a life. I need to foster my inner being, expand my sense of self. Mm. Again, and also relax see, and recreate. You see work-life balance. Mm -hmm. So most people balance actually after think... Get home. Most people actually think that mm -hmm. Gen Z's are lazy. But as I said, we are born into a system where we actually had to learn the skills that we have by mm. ourselves. So most of the time, you come to your... You have Gen Z's coming probably 9 to 5 you are done. Mm. When you are done, you probably want to go and take... And because we have information, like, easily accessible, we are learning so many things at once. Yes. So you want to go and take a course on that 
um, new interests that you suddenly developed or you mm. saw your friend doing something somewhere. Like, we have so many interests. Yes. So we actually Can't believe... Can focus? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> when we actually guide it properly. Your mind is all we got, over we got, <laughs> we got actually focus. Just be a... And we believe that there's more to life than... I mean, most of us can attest to the fact that you have very, very... I don't want to call them, but parents that have this strict routine they just mm. come back they don't know how to have fun but Genesis actually believe that there's more to life than work you actually have to I develop mean, your interests and then power. because of the lifestyle that we actually see on the internet mm -hmm. we actually want to be able to fund our lifestyle so we also believe in like getting multiple streams of income and not mm -hmm. just doing nine to five and then nine to five nine yeah. to five you are bro papa ah, yo no boring. problem I'm, as i'm saying this bro <laughs> you would have enjoyed the nkuma because nkuma time eh, the weekend started from thursday oh. Really? I'm, I tell you, I, like, Charlie, they just ask people, eh, we you need to look that, for them. So, Thursday, starts from Thursday. That's when the weekend starts. That's when they have dance bars. <laughs> State-sponsored so <laughs> dance bars. That is why traditional government institutions, Valco is almost gone now, but VRA and those who had clubhouses. Ask yourself why they had clubhouses. Yeah, really. Yeah. And they could, in fact, it is we really the millennials who have suffered. They they gave birth to us in hardship. Anyway. <laughs> so the last one, Gen Z will tell you her mind. Mm -hmm. Tell you her mind yeah. with no inhibition, no breaks, no fuses, nothing. So, yeah? They will tell you their mind and that's the end of it. For millennials, we are taught to be, to listen. When an adult is talking to you, even if the adult is wrong, you dare not correct a person or even respond. Just to listen, say, okay, and go. You can take it, think it in your mind, that half of the, the thing this man is saying is, oh, crap, oh, God, please, let me just pass. You cannot, but you guys, why don't you have any filter? You can just talk anyhow. No matter where you find yourself, whoever you are talking to. Millennials eh? are actually very, very timid. I don't think oh, it's... Oh, sir. <laughs> Gen Z's are expressive. That's mm. it. We are confident. We are go getters. We go for what we want. Yeah, sometimes, because of the era in which we were born into and then what we see on the internet, mm. sometimes it looks like, oh, our mouths don't have been necessarily have a filter. But mm. then that one can be worked on. Respect. Learn <laughs> respect. Hey, they want to Home. call it disrespect, but it's I call disrespect. it being expressive. Well, well, yeah, we are yeah, very, yeah, very yeah. expressive. What expressive? And that's on period. Le like this like, word, uh -huh. <laughs> what you are doing now? You can't do, you can't do in front of my mother. See, <laughs> hand your hand should be on the back. And Behind you, you guys should lady. actually, have you realized that the millennials are actually learning a lot from us? They love us in oh, our space. Like they actually really. love it when we are in their space. So, so, so now we, we, the, the, the influence is reversed. Gen Z's are the life. Like, like we are the life in every part. Don't so. flatter yourselves. We are ah, the it's, it's other generations fact. are meeting to see how we can deal with your it's generation. It's because Mohajin, anyway. So that's it. I think look, perhaps there are positives and negatives to take from as a millennial and as someone who runs a business, trust me, I enjoy employing Gen Z's. Maybe it's the type of business we do. But they are like the most creative, the most driven, they have passion and all that. I think they are more like a gun. They just need to be pointed in the right direction and issue. And this goes to our leaders and all of that. You should be able to see the potential of each generation and tap into it. And some of these people, the Gen Z generation is, is one that can help us leapfrog. But learn to, uh, to respect respect and, and work hard to take short work out to work it's not ah, a problem no after some time you buy life, <laughs> after some time you buy your own car stops life and then you'll be you fine see, you see they, they eh? live in the system of you have to suffer because we suffered and that kind of thing no 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 no, no. it can no. be different for us okay